when I look back on the album and I try to uh, get a sense of it more objectively, uh, I realize that it did have some themes, but it wasn't anything that I preordained because I can't write songs to like a menu. This, oh, I'm going to write a song about that, except for Sing, when I knew, let me please write an anthemic song for women. And uh, so that song did have an intention behind it. The others just came so spontaneously, and it wasn't until afterwards that I kind of put it together. So, oops, this is a feeling of that. That's another feeling. There's, you know, the, those age-old themes: loss, regret, longing, love, whatever that means to you, romantic love or universal love. Um, those things are all in there. You know, and there's humor in it too. I think it's also it's not only just a kind of very poor faced. It isn't necessarily all poor faced and very very serious. You know, it's kind of there's all kinds of ways to listen to it. A few years ago, I went out and toured with Sting. I was um, playing before he came on, and for about an hour, we did about 54 dates together, and I didn't know what happened. But there was a whole new thing came out, just like almost spontaneously, another way of singing, another way of being, and uh, and I got very comfortable with that. But I hadn't recorded anything with that sound in my voice, and so this album has that element in my singing, which is really exciting for me because you know I, you kind of think sometimes, well, maybe I've just done me and that's it. There's nothing else to say. I've I've sort of a a parody, a rerun of what I've done before, but actually in this case, no, I'm, I'm kind of like exploring other things in a way vocally. There's a certain thing that you can capture in a live performance that is so magical um, that, I, and I also felt that's where I'm at now. I really need this this live sound to come through, this more organic texture, because you know you can get too caught up with very specific sounds, and you do, and I just wanted the whole thing to be like something that could really breathe and recording the band um, every day, every day, doing different things, you know, different takes of one song and it would be just be one take which is like, that's it, that's, that's the moment. I think I've come to the place where I realised that negativity takes you down and at a certain point that's not going to serve any purpose. So. Really, when you reach the bottom, the only way is to try to aspire to the opposite, which in my own personal life, I really have to say that, you know, I'm, I'm kind of doing that now. I can see that uh, I'm, I'm addressing it in a, in a more healthy way. Um, and I've always been a person who had a very dark side in a way. And, and I think that most artists actually do. Because, you know, we're kind of sensitive people. And the way that, you know, if you're, perceptive and you see things through that filter um, it's not an easy it's not an easy ride you know sometimes you think it would have been nice to be inured to be a little bit more thick-skinned but that's not how you are so you can't change that what you can change is your your response to the way you see things so I do try to be positive really I try to and this is part of my you know putting something back it, if I've, it makes me feel more empowered also, you know, the creation of music, it does help me, it is cathartic, it is um, a creative act. I would say my music is not easy listening, in the sense that it's, it's, an, it's a wallpaper of sound that you kind of go into a cafe and you, you get kind of, mm, I feel good, but you're not really listening, because my music works in all kinds of levels and um, there are layers to it and it, it is intense and it has highs and lows and it is dramatic in a way it's it's almost it's almost operatic curiously enough but at the same time i mean sometimes i think i would like to make more uh, ambient effects music I and mean, it just it just happens to be that the albums that i've made over the years have been this kind of highs and lows, valleys and peaks, dramatic moments and so. But uh, in the future, I, w I would like to ex experiment and explore and, and, and make different kinds of music, you know. I mean, Latin music is something that I'm really fascinated by and I would love to work with those rhythms and those flavors and see w what I can bring to that. And um, even, I mean, I mean, the thing is that my, my influences are very eclectic and you can hear, if you listen to this album, 
you'll hear something of jazz, you'll hear something of uh, classical music, you'll hear something of rock, you'll hear something elect electro, you'll hear all kinds of stuff, but they're just naturally coming out from me because I just, it's not because I went, oh, I should put this here. It's just like, oh, that intuitively I just bring that into the equation. 